Om Shanti. Today is Tuesday, the 24th of October 2023. Today is also Vijay Dashami. On this Tuesday morning, let us listen to the Sakar Murli from our beloved Bab Dada. Bab Dada Madhuvan. Essence. Sweet children, you have found the unique master. Follow his Srimad and you will become double crowned deities. So what does Baba tell us in essence on this Tuesday morning? Baba says, Sweet children, you have found the unique master. Follow his Srimad and you will become double crowned deities. Today's question, What easy effort do you make so that you never get tired of studying? So in answer to the question, what easy effort that we children do so that we never get tired of studying is Baba says keep your stage equanimous in the praise and defamation the regard and disregard that happens in this study consider all of that to be a game and you will never get tired Krishna has been defamed the most people have accused him of so many things and yet they also worship such a Krishna Therefore, taking insults is not a new thing. So never get tired of studying. Baba says, taking insults is not a new thing. So never get tired of studying. Continue to study for as long as the father teaches you. Today's song is, O dweller of the forest, your name is the support of my life. Om Shanti. Who said this? Baba asks, who said, O dweller of the forest, your name is the support of my life, which is today's song. Baba asks, who spoke and to whom? Only you children who are called gops and gopis know this. So, they remembered the father. They remembered their father, Gopi Vallab. No one apart from the supreme father, the supreme soul can be such a father. So, they remember those who have been here and gone. They are later praised. For example, Christ came. But after establishing the Christian religion, he didn't go away anywhere. He definitely had to sustain it. He had to take rebirth. However, every year people celebrate the birthdays of those who leave after establishing their religion. They are remembered on the path of devotion. In the same way, People celebrate the festival of Dashera nowadays. It is celebrated, so it must be definitely something auspicious. Baba says, The people celebrate the birthdays of those who leave after establishing their religion. They are remembered on the path of devotion. In the same way, Baba says, People celebrate the festival of Dashera nowadays. It is celebrated, so it must be definitely something auspicious. When someone leaves after doing something good, his festival is celebrated. Even the festival of Deep Mala is celebrated. Krishna's birthday is also celebrated. They celebrate the festivals of those who have been and gone. The people of Bharat don't know why the festivals of Rakhi etc. are celebrated. What happened? They know that Christ and Buddha came to establish their religions. At this time, all are the devilish community, whereas you are the godly community. The father, Rama, has now come and is making you divine and elevated. Or it can be said that the supreme father has come and is making you divine and elevated. Baba says, or it can be said that the Supreme Father has come and is having heaven inaugurated. That is, he is laying the foundation for it. So, Baba says, the Father, Rama, has now come and is making you divine and elevated. Or it can be said that the Supreme Father has come and is having heaven inaugurated. That is, he is laying the foundation for it. It can also be called the opening ceremony. The elevated emperors and empresses in Bharat have been and gone. The golden age deities were double crowned. They had crowns of purity and also crowns studded with jewels. Vicious kings only have crowns studded with jewels. So what is the difference between crowns of purity 
of the deities and the vicious kings baba says golden age deities were doubly crowned they had crowns of purity and also crowns with jewels vicious kings only have crowns studded with jewels those are single crowns those with single crowns worship those with double crowns however no one knows when they came and left or how they received their kingdom lakshmi and narayan were such elevated double crowned deities the father sits here and explains who made them so elevated people celebrate dashera you know that something must have happened that caused people to celebrate dashera and burn an effigy of ravan however he is not something that will be burnt his kingdom is now coming to an end until the kingdom of rama is established the corrupt kingdom has to continue so what is baba saying until the kingdom of rama is established the corrupt kingdom has to continue people continue to celebrate the ceremony of when the kingdom of ravan ended and the kingdom of rama was established they burn an effigy of ravan which proves that this truly is the corrupt devilish kingdom there are also grades of corruption baba says corruption begins in the copper age at first there are 2 degrees of corruption then 4 degrees then 8 degrees then 10 degrees and having gradually increased it has now become 16 degrees of corruption so what is baba telling us today about corruption baba says corruption begins in the copper age at first there are 2 degrees of corruption then 4 then 8 degrees then 10 degrees and having gradually increased it has now become 16 degrees of corruption now to change those who are 16 degrees corrupt to 16 degrees elevated is the task of the one father alone the father explains at this time it is the kingdom of ravan the kingdom of rama was the elevated kingdom that has now become corrupt the elevated bharat is called heaven that same kingdom has now become corrupt the father says i have now come to make the corrupt kingdom into an elevated kingdom there are the yadava and the kaurava clans there are innumerable religions in the yadava clan those who belonged to the elevated dt religion have now become corrupt in their religion and their actions what is baba saying there is the yadava and kaurava clans there are innumerable religions in the yadava clan those who belonged to the elevated deity religion have become corrupt in their religion and their actions the father now teaches them how to perform elevated actions they have been celebrating festivals on the path of devotion god definitely came it is a matter of 5000 years the father came and made the corrupt beings elevated the father came and made the corrupt beings elevated it is the father's task alone to make the whole world elevated then he sends you down from above to sustain it go and sustain the deity religion that you established it isn't that anyone says this it happens automatically according to the drama so what is baba telling us it is the father's task alone to make the whole world elevated then he sends you down from above to sustain it go and sustain the deity religion that you established it isn't that anyone is saying this it happens automatically according to the drama baba says when you become elevated even the world will become satopradhan and elevated now even the five elements are tamopradhan there is so much upheaval and people are so unhappy damage costing millions is caused in the golden age there won't be any of these calamities calamities take place in hell even the calamities are at first only 2 degrees whereas they have now become 16 degrees all of these have to be explained in detail baba says even calamities have increased from only 2 degrees to now 16 degrees in the iron age all of these have to be explained in detail they are very easy but people are unable to understand them or explain to others 
So, Baba says, this burning of Ravan began in the Copper Age. You cannot say that it started 5000 years ago. When the path of devotion begins, all of these calamities also begin. You now know how the kingdom of Ravan is destroyed and how the kingdom of Rama is established. People don't know what Ravan is. The father says, there wasn't anything such as Lanka. There is no Lanka in the golden age. There are very few people there. They live by the banks of the river Jamuna. In Ajmer, they show a model of paradise, but they don't understand it. It doesn't take long to build golden palaces there. They use machinery to melt gold quickly and make tiles, etc. You children know that this science through which destruction takes place will be useful to you later on. What is Baba telling us? Baba says, You children know that this science through which destruction takes place will be useful to you later on. They make aeroplanes etc. now for great happiness, but they will also carry out destruction with them. So, these aeroplanes are for sorrow as well as happiness. That is temporary happiness. All of these things have been invented in the last hundred years. So, so much has happened in the last hundred years. Seriously, if we were to think, science has developed so much in the last one hundred years. So, Baba says, so just think, after destruction takes place, all of these things will be created in such a short time in the new world. There, the golden palaces are built very quickly. In Bharat, so many palaces are studded with gold and silver. They have big royal courts there. Royal people would meet there. They would not be called Pandava gatherings. They would be called gatherings of the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan. All the princess and princesses also go and sit there. Baba says, when it was the British government, there used to be great royal court gatherings of princess, princesses and maharajas. All the kings would be sitting there wearing their crowns. When Baba used to go to Nepal, so we are talking of Brahma Baba here, they would hold a gathering of the Rana, that is the king family. Kings with big crowns would sit there. They were called emperors and empresses and they were all number wise. The queens wouldn't sit there. They remained behind curtains. They sat with a lot of grandeur. We used to say that that was the Pandava government. They called themselves the Sun dynasty. They used to exist here too. So, Baba was talking of the British times when Brahma Baba went to Nepal and Baba says, they were called emperors and empresses and they were all number wise. The queens wouldn't sit there and they remained behind curtains but they sat with a lot of grandeur. We used to say that that was the Pandava government. They called themselves the Sun dynasty. They used to exist here too. However, they had single crowns because it was before them that there were those with double crowns. They have written so many things about Krishna. He abducted so and so and did such and such. However, there was nothing like that. People continue to celebrate the festival of things that took place in the past. They also celebrate the festival of when the kingdom of Ravan ended and the kingdom of Rama was established. They celebrate it every year. So, Baba says, this proves that the devilish kingdom of Ravan also existed 5000 years ago. The father came and inspired the destruction of the kingdom of Ravan. That same Mahabharat war is just ahead. However, there is no such thing as Ravan. They show Mandodri as the wife of Ravan, but they don't show her with ten heads. They show Ravan with ten heads. They show Vishnu with four arms, two arms of Lakshmi and two arms of Narayan. They show Ravan with ten heads, that is, five vices of his, and five vices of Mandotri. They have also shown the significance of the four-armed image of Vishnu. They also worship Mahalakshmi. They never show Mahalakshmi with two arms. At Deepmala, they invoke Lakshmi. Why? Baba asks, did Narayan commit a crime? 
After all, Lakshmi receives her wealth from Narayan anyway. She is a half partner. So, what crime did Narayan commit? In fact, wealth is not received from Lakshmi. Baba says wealth is received from Jagdamba. You know that Jagdamba then becomes Lakshmi. So, they have separated the two of them. They ask Jagdamba for everything. If they have any sorrow, if their son dies, they pray to Jagdamba. Protect us. Give me a child. Remove this illness of mine. They have many such desires. They go to Lakshmi and only place one desire in front of her and that is for wealth. Baba says, otherwise they go to Jagadamba and they go to Lakshmi and only place one desires in front of her and that is for wealth. That's all. Jagadamba is the one who fulfills all your desires. She is the one who makes you wealthy. At this time, all your desires are being fulfilled. They don't give wealth. They simply teach you through which from nothing you become great. So what is Baba telling us? Jagadamba is the one who makes you wealthy. At this time, all your desires are being fulfilled. They don't give wealth. They simply teach you through which from nothing you become great. Then when you become Lakshmi, you become wealthy. At this time, you have the power to fulfill all desires. Jagadamba gives donations. Lakshmi does not give donations. Donations are not given there. There is no starvation there. No one is poverty stricken there. Ravan doesn't exist in the golden age. Let's hear that again. Ravan doesn't exist in the golden age. Here they burn Ravan. After Dashera, they celebrate Deepmala. They celebrate in happiness. The kingdom of Ravan has been destroyed and the kingdom of Rama is established and so there would be happiness. There is light in every home. You souls receive enlightenment. The things that exist at the confluence age do not exist in the golden age. You are Trikal Darshi and you experience the reward there. There you will have forgotten all of this knowledge. What is Baba telling us? The things that exist at the confluence age do not exist in the golden age. You are Trikal Darshi and you experience the reward there. There, meaning in the golden age, you will have forgotten all of this knowledge. At the confluence age, there is establishment and destruction. Once establishment has taken place, that's it. Only you know about all of these festivals. Ignorant people don't understand anything. They make a lot out of nothing. You can see in a practical way that those things do not exist in the golden age. The story of Narad is also mentioned in the scriptures. When you are asked, you reply, Baba, I will marry either Lakshmi or Narayan. So the father says, check yourself to see that you don't have any vices. If you have anger etc., how will you be able to marry them? Yes, no one has yet become perfect, but you do have to become that. You have to chase away those evil spirits because only then will you be able to claim a status. You have found the unique master. The father is full of all virtues. He is the ocean of knowledge and the ocean of bliss. And so he also makes those who come and become his children full of all virtues and double crowned deities. So what is Baba making us? The father is full of all virtues. Baba says he is the ocean of knowledge and the ocean of bliss and so he also makes those who come and become his children full of all virtues and double crown deities. You are truly becoming that. Deities have both crowns. You have come here to claim your inheritance from the father. You have to claim your inheritance. You have to study. Many points continue to emerge. If you don't study, how will you be able to explain to others? Baba says this drama is repeating identically. You understand this knowledge at this time and it will then disappear. The Lanka etc. that they show doesn't really exist. When was Ravan born? It is written that the deities go on to the path of sin in the copper age and that they begin to become vicious. 
devotion was at first unadulterated and it then became adulterated. People have now begun to have themselves worshipped. The father says, I come to carry out the establishment of an elevated world and destruction of the corrupt world. Surely, establishment would be carried out first and then destruction. This is my part every cycle. So what is Baba saying? Surely establishment would be carried out first and then destruction. And this is my part in every cycle. It takes time to make it elevated from corrupt. You have to study for as long as the father teaches you. However much those who studied in the previous cycle studied, they will study the same now. Baba says, however much those who studied in the previous cycle studied, they will study the same now. While moving along, many children say, that's it, I am not able to continue anymore. Oh, there will be praise and defamation, regard and disregard. Baba asks us, why do you stop studying because of that? It was Krishna who was defamed the most. He was accused of so many things. So, why do people then worship such a Krishna? In fact, it is this one, meaning Brahma, who takes all the insults at this time. He was defamed throughout the whole of Sindh. Shri Baba is talking of Brahma Baba during the establishment of the Gyan. Baba says, in fact, it is this one, Brahma, who takes all the insults at this time. He was defamed throughout the whole of Sindh. However, those people were unable to do anything. All of this is a game. It is nothing new. He took insults in the previous cycle too. He crossed the river. You came away from the shore of Sindh to this side. It wasn't Krishna but this Dada who used to come and go. You know that you are now claiming the kingdom and that you will then lose it. This too is a game. Acha to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bap Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and we the spiritual children also say Namaste to our spiritual father. Today's essence for dharna has two points. The first point, you have to become a Kamdhenu meaning Jagdamba, one who fulfills everyone's desires. Continue to donate. Second point, keep your stage in equanimity, in praise and defamation. When all of that happens, you mustn't stop studying. Consider all of it to be a game and overcome it. So, Baba says we should not be affected by either praise or defamation. When all of it happens, you mustn't stop studying. Consider all of it to be a game and overcome it. Today's blessing. May you become an intense form of fire and give the experience of spirituality through your form of Shakti or power. Let us hear the beautiful blessing on Dashami again. Baba says, May you become an intense form of fire and give the experience of spirituality through your form of Shakti, that is power. Baba explains, until now, the father has attracted everyone in the form of the flame. The father's duty has been taking place and the children's duty has been incognito. However, when you become stable in your form of power, the souls who come into contact with you will experience your spirituality. Those who say, this is good, this is good, will be inspired to become good when you all collectively become intense forms of fire and lighthouses. When the stage of a master almighty authority is visible in your stage, everyone will continue to circle around you like moths. Let's hear the last line once again. Baba says, when the stage of a master almighty authority is visible in your stage, everyone will continue to circle around you like moths. Finally, the slogan for today, those who burn their physical senses in the fire of yoga become completely pure. Slogan once again, those who burn their physical senses in the fire of yoga become completely pure. Acha Om Shanti.